Uh, I got too many games I gotta destroy them all. This is my first impression backlog death march. Here is the System Shock Enhanced Edition. So, definitely pretty old. I did kind of skip over the opening cinematic there where basically uh, there's a hacker that hacks into Shodan on a space station and then gets a neural implant. So, going out from there. Options, cursor, motion cursor. So this is the enhanced edition, so I assume the controls probably hopefully be better than uh, a lot of controls in like really old games to be pretty spotty, so uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm definitely gonna turn the music volume down. That is one thing I definitely Tend to turn down. Yeah. Text line set up. Ba, ba, ba. All right. Done. All right. New game. Modifications. Something is wrong. Wrong. Is it? All right. Oh, so it's mod capable. I'll have to check if uh, this is. I have the Steam version, so I'll have to see if uh, there's anything on the Steam Workshop. Hell, you're dead. We go combat uh all plot elements are removed so uh huh this is actually pretty intricate here I this is just a first impression so I'm not sure don't want to be completely simple but I want to be able to see enough of the game uh, to make it good yet yeah, normal I'll keep that simple yeah simple puzzles don't want to get bogged down that's basically the one thing is I want to make it hard enough that I get a good feel for it but simple enough that I don't get bogged down on anything time limit combat and control easier yeah yeah that's good new Atlanta oh that's the same cutscene I uh, skipped over so yes start go Okay, WASD controls. Uh, how, how do I... How do I turn? Can't use paneling. Oh, you can see a little dude at the top kind of dancing along. Let's see a who? Okay, what are... Okay, jump is, uh, this is jump, uh, uh, customized controls, okay, what do I Stand up is R, crouch, F, okay, that's strange. Black phone is E, walk forward. Turn left, turn right, unused. Let's see what, uh, Q and E are. Can you use for anything? Okay. Oh, okay. It's leaning. Alright, so run. Bank left. Okay. Cyberspace. Fire. Uh, I'm gonna double click. Toggle free look. So, toggle free look might be what I'm looking for here. New map, control A, control B, control F. A, D, and F, that's weird. I uh, would have thought the control S might be in there. Control S might be something else. Uh, toggle online help, control H. I do kind of like that there's you know, a whole lot of commands for stuff, but just make it a little complicated, obviously. Jump jets icon. MF. Uh, 
I have not used the keypad. Old game saving. Control S. Yep, there we go. Uh, lower gamma, race gamma. Uh, done. E. Alright, okay, there we go. So E puts you into free look, and then you can go out of free look so you can kind of click and stuff. Bam! Pick up. Into your inventory. Where's my inventory? Is this my inventory? Okay, that brings up the yeah. Okay, that brings up the UI. Is this my inventory? Okay, there's my inventory. Oh, I can click up here to decide what I am doing. Yep, I can go prone. I can go crouch. I can go stand, lean. Uh, what is this? What is all of this? Main hardware. Okay, general. Wow. Okay. What is this? Oh, old timey lookiness. I see. Yeah, I think this is what they changed in the Enhanced Edition to make it a little more uh, familiar to people who have played games uh, mostly in the after 2000. Oh. Uh, okay. Alright, very... Door... So what is it? V to go prone? Okay. Or don't drop your sand axis or inventory or MFD. What is MFD? Okay. And Cool. Okay, so I, can I, or I guess I double click on that stuff to... Ultimedia Data Reader. Okay. Read email. Okay. Let me read my emails. Oh, this is another thing in the thing. Ah. 2-4601. Listen carefully. My name is Rebecca Lansing, and I'm a counter-terrorism consultant to Trioptimum. We're tracking a disruption on Citadel Station, something involving an onboard AI called Showdown. You are Triops' only contact on station. Communications are out, and there is evidence of biological contamination. The mining laser is charging for a possible strike against Earth. There's a man named Nathan Darcy who may know something about taking the laser offline. His office is near the central hub on your level. The AI is on the bridge. Once the laser is out, look for the source of the problem there. And by the way, we know all about you and your friend Diego. Pull this off and we'll clear your record. That implant you're wearing is military-grade hardware. Use it well. Lancing out. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, full screen mode, I got it. Oh, holy crap. Okay, what is Alright, right click is to attack. Alright. Evo. Stand up. Alright, where am I going? Alright, uh Item. 
logs. Perform logs. All right, good. It's not reading this one aloud. That that noise is ridiculously annoying. Are you sure this was old timey? So you didn't really have very good sound quality. Do do. Favor. Yep. Hack into Shodan. So you must be the hacker that has uh, done this. Okay. Auto map. All right. Where am I trying to go? Need to use a surgery machine. Hello? Bam! Destroy the serve bots. Let's go. Alright, uh, definitely some weird controls having to switch between normal mode and whatnot. Alright, I have healed. Healing seat. Hello. Come here, get those coming to you. Bam! Give me your stuff. General. Okay. It's uh, flashing to let me know something. Right. Uh, okay. There's a human corpse in a sec. Oh. What is making that sound? Helmet. Do I automatically equip that? Helmet. Uh, right click in view. Alright, I'm not trying to throw it. I, I want to put it on. What are... What are, what are these bars right here? Energy fatigue. Chi waves. Target. Alright, this tells me something. Helmet. Do I bring it over here to equip it or bring it? No. Weird. Weird controls, definitely. I like that it is uh, more designed to be a uh, dungeon crawl, kind of well, sci-fi dungeon crawl simulator as opposed to just your standard run and gun. I do think, I'm mean, sure the controls are a bit strange uh, playing it in 2020, but that's, that was bound to happen. Dark gun. For now, save my ammo. Can't use medical computer. I'm a hacker, but I cannot use all these computers. I <laughs> I keep wanting to hit control to crouch. Bam. Beaten darts. So yeah, definitely the controls take a bit of getting used to. But uh it's not that bad. Definitely made for you have like Try to give you uh, commands and options to do whatever it is you want to do, or at least trying to, uh, even though it does end up being a little bit, a little clunky command-wise, user interface-wise. I, mean, I am getting 
getting stuff done, but I definitely feel like I'm not doing it in the most efficient way. Double click to use energy. All right. Can I push the box? Ooh. Physics. Doesn't uh, tip or roll or anything, so old timey physics. That's fine. Pick up email. Who's this guy? Can't use normal screens. Oh, 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 oh. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories, 3 houses the Department of Maintenance, and the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. Level 6 holds crew facilities and executive suites, and level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the Department of Security. The bridge is located on level 9, and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. Ooh. Kind of a weird, uh, almost looks like a kind of reptilian fish. Welcome thing. back to Citadel oh, no, Station. No, no, Welcome back to Citadel oh. Station. We hope your somnolent uh. healing stage went well. Today is the 6th day of November, year 2072. Again, you are currently again. in the healing suites located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories. 3 houses... Okay. Shutdown security is closing down on us. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that Shodan's using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. Okay. Uh, doo -doo. Hello, human corpse. Circuit combat booster. Can't use medical icon. Keypad unlocks door. Uh. Two. Oh, come on! Is it in this, uh... Do, 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 do. I'm sure it probably gives me the key code at some point here. Or something I need to hunt down. Up, up, uh. That's what I already read. Shodan security is closing down on us. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that Shodan's using these to hold onto the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. The thing is everywhere. Okay, so I wanted to keep that on. You can do Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Status. Laser, to do, to do. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, where do I find the code to get out of here? STD access granted. I'm gonna get all the STDs. Destroy camera. Bop. Uh, what am I? 
Oops. Oh, okay, so uh, that energy must be one of those bars up there. Okay, and health must be the other one. Let's use them. Whoa. That's cool. Did I pick up a key that I'm not finding? Oh, um. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, this is just a first impression. Definitely, uh, the controls are definitely very old school. I think the Enhanced Edition probably fixes a lot of them. Uh, I'm just kind of assuming there. Definitely seems uh, playable for someone uh, with a more modern uh, gaming sensibilities at this point. Not really sure where the code is to progress past this door. So I have been <laughs> defeated by the first locked door in the game. So that's definitely a thing. Ooh, it's all up here. Uh, the graphics are, you know, pretty good for the time. Obviously, they're pretty simplistic. That's okay. Ooh. Uh, what am I looking for? Jeez. Um, uh, yeah, uh, very, very thick with uh, a lot of controls. There's a lot of things you can do, a lot of different features. They give you a lot of them, like, right off the bat. It looks like, like, your mapping and your uh, navigation, your email stuff. I mean, granted, a lot of games will just give you that stuff, but this one, it actually feels like it's items and stuff that you need to pick up. Penalty. Come on. So, yeah, a uh, very more roleplay-esque, or more of a, uh, more of a simulator-type experience than a straight-up, uh, standard RPG kind of dungeon crawl type thing. If you kind of get what I mean by that, more of a, your role playing actually being just some dude trying to make your way out of here instead of uh, just having all of your abilities and whatever on like really quick. Maybe this is something. Do you want to go back to there? Yeah, whatever. So, very cool. Uh, this is kind of a well, uh, well, beloved game, either this one or System Shock 2. I can definitely see why, especially way back in the day when this is, you know, the best you have. This is, could definitely get some nostalgia juices flowing for you if you played it way back in the day. I did not. So it definitely seems interesting. Showdown, see, uh, from what I hear, is a pretty interesting villain. And the fact that she actually talks directly to you through emails, that's kind of neat. They don't uh, just have her, like voice booming from somewhere it's an actual you know displayed through parts of the game so generally uh, setting the setting and whatnot very nicely I think it definitely seems like really cool especially if it was you know way back in the day I mean a lot of this stuff uh, I think a lot of games are kind of you know cribbing notes from this but this is the one of the originators way back in the day I know I keep saying back in the day, back in the day, back in the day, but I am trying to meet it where it is. It is an older game. I'm trying to you know, make the proper allowances for that. And yeah, uh, I have no idea what the hell I'm supposed to do to get through this door. <laughs> so already I need to look up a walkthrough or anything. But anyway, this is good enough for a first impression. My first impression is pretty good. Uh, I think this is mostly based on I think the what people remember most about this is I think the story so hoping that the story kind of picks up and uh, Shodan turns into a really interesting and compelling character which I'm assuming from what I've heard she might definitely looks like she could 
Uh, like I said, the controls are a little clunky, but they are pretty, uh, how do I want to put it? Pretty dynamic and a lot of options. Can't use control. What the hell can I do? Jeez. Get out the front door. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, okay, like I said, generally pretty good. Uh, I can't say I'm completely enthralled yet, but it does seem like it's something that you have to get a little further in to really get the uh, hook in you. So, that's about really all I can say without getting through this first door. So, there we go. Uh, I think I've pretty much said everything I can. So, anyway. There we go. System Shock Enhanced Edition. Uh, I'm playing on the Steam version. So, till next time. Later. Wait, hold on. I see something. Uh, ba -ba. Options. Video. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What resolutions? I did this on another game. I want to see. Oh, oh. It is playing on. A full 4K, it just so it doesn't uh, have uh, really scaling problems going up to 4K. It just kind of makes everything like really pixely. Just kind of keeps keeps up with that. So, so for those of you with 4K monitors like me, don't worry about that. So anyway, there we go. System Shock Enhanced Edition. Till next time, later.